So now tell me, is it that you're stupid or you do not have retentive memory? Which of it? How long will it take you to come and clean up this mess? Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Ma. Better. Pick it. You didn't hear what I said? Or you want me to pick it up myself? I said pick it. You want me to do it myself? No, no, ma. I'll be. What are you staring at? Wait, wait. What was that for? I mean, why did she do that? Is that how she treats you guys? Well, I know you're new here. If you don't want to lose your job, if you don't want her dad to get you fired, just do whatever she tells you to do. Let her treat you whichever way she wants to treat you. Her dad is the boss in this branch and controls all the staff. Whatever she tells you to do, please, just do it. Do it. I'm telling you, except you want to lose your job. You know how hard it is to get a job in this country. You know what it means today. And I'm sure you don't want to go through that puzzle. Remember, even if the boss gets you fired from here, you still need to get a job somewhere else. And I'm sure you would need a recommendation from this company. Anything she says you should do, please just do it. But that's total humiliation. Well, it depends on how you see it. I don't see it that way. I see it as me doing what I need to do to cater for myself. And if you don't mind, please, I would like to go back to work. Thank you. Hello? Yes, Clara, come to my office. Come in. Good morning, Ma. Thank you. I heard you are the new person here. The new intern, right? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure you're aware that we retain our interns and start them up swiftly on their career. Yes, I know. And it's very cool. It's a very good thing you know that. And you should also know that if you want to be retained here in this company, you would have to do everything possible to impress me. Yes, ma. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to do anything and everything possible to impress you. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm done, I'm sure you'll be highly impressed by my work. Mm -hmm. Come in. Ma, you called for me. Come here. So now, tell me, is it that you're stupid or you do not have retentive memory? Which of it? How long 
will it take you to come and clean up this mess? Huh? Are you only just getting here? Now bend down and start cleaning it. I said bend! You know what? Your presence is just irritating me. Just get out. Get out! It's rubbish. What is it? I mean, I noticed how you were reacting while I was correcting the cleaner. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, no. But... <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> Careful what comes out from your mouth because you do not want to get on my bad side i know i i know i'm done with you just get out leave my office Start getting used to things around here. Hey, I'm so sorry for how she treated you back then. Oh, um, you mean the boss's daughter? <laughs> we are used to it, you know. Even when you try to report to her dad, nothing happens. That is really, really sad. <laughs> but where is her dad? Um, he traveled for a conference. Oh, I see. Anyways, I'm so sorry for what happened. Thank you so much. Yeah. <sighs> what is wrong with you people in this department? I mean, what is wrong with you guys? Why have you chosen to stress me in this office? Why are you yet to submit the PGMD file to my table? Um, I told you I needed a document and you are yet to submit it. Um, I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, but the PGMD file has been submitted to your office two days ago. It has been on your table. Actually, it should that it's here to sign on it. Really? Aren't you supposed to remind me to sign it? Why didn't you remind me to sign it? We are sorry, ma'am. Excuse me? You're sorry? No, you shouldn't be sorry. Look, madam. We all worked diligently on that PGMD file. And it was submitted on your table two days ago, like she just said. We also went ahead to send you emails and texts. We even went as far to notify your assistant. We sent him emails and texts as well. Madam, if you're yet to sign on that file or you're yet to report to the head office, the fault is totally yours, not ours. Wow! <laughs> Great speech! <laughs> you... You were talking to me like that. I mean, was that the one you just... I'm sorry, madam. I had to. I had no other options because I know that no one will speak up if I don't. Look, I know we are trying to maintain and retain our job in this place, but our mental health is very, very important. We are trying to keep our sanity in check so someone does not run mad in this company by your acts. You... you, you, you did you just speak to me like that? She, she spoke to me in that manner. I am going to make sure you are fired. I am going to make sure your internship program is terminated. Nobody, I mean, no one who ever signed your file. You, you, you are going to pay for this. You are going to pay for this. Just... <laughs> 
whatever. I don't even care. Really? You mean he just did that and said all those to her? For crying out loud, she's the boss's daughter. I just hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> she knows what doesn't know what she's joking about. Oh, come on, pick up that. Hello, Dad. Hello, sweetie. Dad, someone hurt my feelings today. What? You didn't even ask how my conference is going. That is not about a conference, okay? This is about me. I am telling you that someone hurt my feeling. I mean, I want to literally report her to you. What? I mean, I was I was talking to her and she spoke back at me. What Can you imagine? Look, Dad, I am only calling you to get your permission to fire her so you don't say I fire someone behind you. No problem, no problem. You have my permission, okay? Don't worry, I'll call you after my conference, alright? Okay, Dad. <laughs> okay, Dad. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she will know that she has spoken to the wrong person. Hello? Yes. I want you to arrange a sack letter for me. Yes, for Miss Clara. Thank you. <laughs> she has the nerve <laughs> to talk back at me. <laughs> she will hear from me today. We'll know who is the boss. For talking to me in that manner. That is your sack letter. I don't understand, ma'am. What for? <laughs> She's still asking me for what you are asking. Why I fired your wallet? <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. We weren't expecting you. I mean, my my dad traveled for a conference meeting, so. Yes, I know your dad traveled for a conference. Oh, so. <laughs> What do we all the visit then? I mean, it's a pleasure having you here in our branch. <laughs> Actually, my daughter called me and that's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> so I know you call me your daughter. I am your daughter and you are also my godfather. So I, I get it. But I did not call you. And besides, if, if, if I did, it would have been a mistake. Yes, I know you're my daughter. But right now I'm talking about my biological daughter. <laughs> your daughter? <laughs> you've, you've always told me about her, I mean, but you said she was schooling abroad. You're right. But right now she's here. And the reason why she's here is because I wanted her to come know the company business and, you know, assist me and after that, take over the company. <laughs> so where is she then? Introduce her to me. That's Clara. Huh? Dad, do you know that she just got me fired? What? Fired? Yes. In my company? It's, it's not like that. I was like, how will I fire your daughter in your company? I mean, I, I had no idea she was a daughter, sir. I, I, I totally did not know. Even if she's not my daughter, at least. I heard a lot of story that you've been doing, how you've been making life of staff unbearable. And I'm totally disappointed in you. Sir, I, I do my best. I have been doing my best to keep this company going. I did not know. I had no idea she was your daughter. I wouldn't have treated her like that. I mean, how can I fear your own daughter? It, it sounds outrageous. I mean... <laughs> you know what? I don't have much to say to you. I just want you to go in your office, clear your decks, and move out of my office because you are fired. As for your dad, once he's around, he's equally going to be fired. Okay? For you. Um, Clara, sorry about everything. As for you, I do not want to see you in the office. 
Sir, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Sir, sir, please, sir, I'm sorry. I 